uh, I'm not in the Twizzy today, guys. Just too bad. I did actually attempt to go out in the Twizzy the other day in this snow. Well and truly iced up this is. And whilst the car actually handles really well, um, I did have a bit of an incident. I forgot to turn the regen off and um, I was coming down the, uh, coming down actually this road, but coming back the other way. And I actually just lifted off the throttle and I just spun the car, <laughs> um, which was fortunate. It was fortunate that it's quite light and it slows down pretty quickly and there wasn't any other cars around. But, but yeah, it was a bit of a brown pants moment, definitely. So today, guys, I'm off to see an electric vehicle specialist um, who I think he's quite well known, actually, in the sort of EV circle. Um, I'm not going to mention who it is yet because I'm not sure if he wants, you know, to be on the video or anything like that. But, but yeah, I think he does like a lot of conversions um, for cars and, and kind of provides that like, support for, for electric vehicles. So, yeah, it should be interesting. But the main reason I'm going over there is because he's got some um, lithium ferrite phosphate LIFE cells, um, which have been kind of, well, harvested from a, uh, I think it's like an allied boxer van. Alright guys, sorry about that, I just had to navigate some traffic, but check this out, look. I've not seen anything like this in the UK, like, I can't remember the last time. This is absolutely snowed up. And this is the car for the job, because I've got my snow mode on. Thing is, not long ago we just, we came back from uh, Norway, and it's just amazing how everyone just carries on going um, over there, just totally built for it, but in the UK it just, uh, Oh, this is quite deep this compacted up yeah in the uk it just stops and it's just yeah everything just grinds to a halt so anyway what i was saying was um he's got some life post cells which um i'm gonna go and look at and um they're 190 amp i think they're 200 amp hour cells but they've got like 90 percent um, capacity left so they've only had a light bit of use which is really good so i'm thinking yeah that'd be really good for the for the setup yeah. You know. But the key, from my point of view, the key is the development of our interface talking to this. Yeah. It's got so much going for it. Yes, at low, at low power, you could easily get away without doing, you know, without having... Well, I'm back on the road again. What an interesting guy. What an interesting chat that was as well about um, batteries and um, <clears throat> kind of storage systems and things like that. So I picked up four of the, um, the life post cells that he's got. They're Calb or Calib um, cells, so like pretty good quality ones. They're like, well I'll show you in a minute, I'll show you when I get back um, what they are, but basically, yeah, looking really good. Got the straps to um, series connect them as well. Nice solid copper straps and um, all the connecting bolts as well. Uh, but yeah, some other interesting stuff as well. Um, he has got some kind of, they're like prototype, packs 60 volt nominal packs um, and they're 30 amp hour of go but, but what he's trying to do guys is, which is really cool is actually make like a battery a modular battery for electric vehicles like the twizzy and it looks like um you know four or maybe more of these modules will actually fit in the twizzy box guys this snow oh my god would not be doing this in the twizzy Right, I'm going out to get a pizza. <laughs> it's Friday night again, and yeah, I don't know if this was a good good idea, but this road seems pretty clear now. It's like pretty, it's pretty bad back at back at home, but obviously that's in the middle of nowhere. So, so I'll show you those batteries when I get back, guys. Um, I've just I've taken them out and I've put them on the put them on the side. I've got a new little um, kind of I don't know, like a little bit of racking. It's not, not really racking, it's more like a um, like a little shelving unit thing. I'll show you what it is. Basically, I've put them on there, I've tested all the voltages. I knew what the, I tested the voltages anyway before, um, but I've just basically stuck them in there in the warm. When I picked them up, they were absolutely freezing, so I've got, I'm warming them up in the, uh, in the shed. It's about 18 degrees in there, so. And all I've got to do now is um, wire them up. Just trying to work out the best way of, of kind of doing it. It's set to carry on snowing all night as well. Just need to get my pizza. <laughs> pizza was good anyway. Feel a bit stuffed now. So guys, 
this is what you've been waiting for the um, the batteries so these are the batteries um, so this is one cell obviously um, and this is a hundred and he reckons there's about 190 amp hours um, out of these if you discharge them not down to obviously down to nothing um, I think it's like 2.7 2.7 volts a cell something like that um, and he's measured it at about 190 amp hour so that's pretty amazing really that you can have so this is like a 2700 watt hour I think is that right yes yeah, so if they're 3.6 volts a cell times four um, that is 14.4 volts times 190 for argument's sake so yeah 2700 watt hours so 2.7 kilowatt hour battery that is right there obviously there'll be a bit of voltage drop when you put it under load but there you go so what we've got to do is basically um, create a series connection between I forgot to bring the balancer out actually um, the charger BMS 8 has just turned up as well um, which I'm going to be testing so that's what I'm going to put on this so yeah a little bit to do um, I've got some seriously fat I think this is like this might be 50 50 mil squared cable um, but that is a solid chunk I've only got a meter of this because I'm not going to use a meter um, on each I want to keep the, the runs as short as possible but in theory I mean these these cells will deliver well they'll deliver hundreds and hundreds of amps it's, there's no problem these are actually out of a out of an electric vehicle so you know they can take a huge amount of power they look in really good shape as well I just need to um, give these terminals a wipe and then just so that you've got a good good connection on each one I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet I mean this is this is working really nicely I may just stick an inverter on the back of this take this off the wall and then just use it as like a sort of portable um, power pack but I like how neat it is I like how neat it is on the wall um, but this this is getting this is getting serious now so here's the straps the these I think these are the official straps that go with these actual cells so you've got three of them obviously to connect all the cells together and all the bolts in there so you'd have effectively one there one there and then one there as well to give you um, your four cells I need to do as well is I need to find some decent cable to I think I might use this stuff out of an old lead oh this actually looks like it's already wired up to the with the right connector on for the um, for that BMS so I might be able to use that without actually having to do anything I did butcher this cable up a little bit from the, from the last thing oh, what's going on here I'll have to have a look with this with that I've also got another battery meter I repaired this battery meter because something was going wrong at the something was wrong with the shunt um, so that's been fixed up so I can use that this one's the older version of the meter that's in there that one's got built-in Bluetooth and it it takes hardly any current as well but this one um, sucks a little bit more current but it's got an external Bluetooth thing to be honest you don't really need the Bluetooth thing if you're connecting it to the rest of the system but um, yeah I've just got this running on this this drill pack at the moment just to test it out I like these meters they're just really good it's no nonsense and they've got a relay on as well so you can actually you know set it if, if there's like a voltage condition or something goes too high you can have a charger connected to it um, you know relays to turn things on and off which is just perfect so yeah all interesting stuff guys um, so we're back in full swing workshop mode again building stuff um, which is what I like doing yeah so I'll probably roll this on to tomorrow actually because I've got some more stuff to say but I can't bother to do it now <laughs>